20 years ago, Isobel Simon lost her most valuable asset, more than seven square kilometers of farmland. Which I could cry. Hmm. It was my home for 47 years. More than 4,000 white farmers in Zimbabwe lost their land that same year. It was seized under a decree by former President Robert Mugabe. It sought to compensate black farmers whose properties were taken during colonial rule. For many white Zimbabweans, Mugabe's land reform represented the theft of their property. But to blacks, it was the ultimate act of independence from white minority rule. I don't hate white farmers by any standards. Uh, but that, that does not stop me from claiming what is rightfully mine. Mugabe redistributed the seized land to subsistence black farmers like Bernard Chinyemba, but many of them lacked the money and experience to run large farms. We have the challenge of a lack of equipment, especially tractors. The seed and fertilizer are provided by the government, but you can't start any work because no diesel will be available. Zimbabwe faces its worst food crisis in a decade as shortages and inflation rocks a country once regarded as the breadbasket of Africa. Since the reform, farm production has reduced by nearly 50 percent, according to the World Bank. Critics blame Mugabe's land reform, but President Emasi Manangagwa has promised to defend it at all costs. Adeshawa Josh, TR2 World.